All right. Hello. Hello, friends. How's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I am really excited about today's video. I am nowhere near done playing with my Affinity 2 palette from Certify, so I wanted to do a little palette bingo with it, and you guys also really wanted to see that. Here's what it looks like in case you haven't seen it. I already did a first impressions and a three looks one palette with this. Just in case you missed them, I'll have them down below. I'm obsessed with this palette. If you saw those videos, you would know that. I can't get enough of it and I'm so excited to play with it again. I'm really excited to do a palette bingo with this because it's going to be a very cohesive palette bingo because this palette just, it all goes together. I can't imagine any combination that I could get that I won't like. I mean, it'll be a bummer if I get all five of the shimmers. That will kind of suck because I won't know what the hell to do, but I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really pretty. I'm in a really good mood because my friend Kaylee actually sent me a little package of goodies and she sent me some eyeshadows from her favorite indie brands and I've never tried any of these brands. Some are Vanessa's Vanity. These are Sydney Grace. This one's Terra Moon Cosmetics. This is Luxy and I'm really excited. So I might try to sneak one of these into the look if, if I can, because I really want to play with one of them. Thank you, Kaylee. You're the best ever. So my palette bingo today is going to go the same as usual. I'm going to randomly draw five shades from a random number generator online and then I'm going to create a look with it. Obviously, I don't know what I'm going to do, what I'm going to create or anything, so let's just go ahead and draw the numbers. There are 18 shades in this palette, so I have my little Google generator here from 1 to 18, and I'm going to draw five numbers. So let's see, we got 14, 15, and 10. I'm going to stop there so I don't lose track. 14, 15, 10. So we got 14, 15, and 10. So far, this is looking like my second look in my Three Looks One Palette video. Lots of greens. And then just two more. We got five and two. So we got the pretty blue duochrome and we got this pretty matte mid-toned blue. So this is actually a really good color combo. We got three mattes, two shimmers, one's a duochrome. I think this is gonna be really pretty. I like that the two shimmers are vastly different because I think it could create a really just cool and unique look. I don't know what we're gonna do but I'm excited to do it. I'm going to zoom you guys in now. I'm going to off camera prime my eyes with my Smashbox lid primer in light and I'm not going to set it because I don't do that. And guess what? My brushes are actually clean now. So I have all clean brushes to use for this. I'm hype. All right, so I'm thinking I wanna take this one first and just start swirling it through the crease. Not too insanely high up, but high enough up that it's gonna be kind of my middle color if that makes sense. And I do want heavy focus in the outer corner because that's just how I do things, you know? I like a pretty elongated look with my eye looks. And I'm only gonna keep this in the outer portion because I want to use the blue more towards the inside. And I'm mostly just focusing on patting it down. I'm not really blending just yet. What's going on today, guys? It's Friday for me. I'm doing this. <laughs> I already worked this morning for a couple hours. I'm filming. I'm going to probably film another video after this, actually, because I have an extended break today. And then I'll go back to work this evening and then go to the gym tonight. We didn't end up going last night because Morgan wasn't back in town yet. So we're going to have to double up tonight, which is very fun. I'm going to take that blue shade now, and I'm just taking that on another little blending brush. This is gonna go in the front portion of my crease. I wanted kind of two colors in the crease today. But yeah, that's what's going on. No major plans this weekend. We might potentially go try to see Detective Pikachu tomorrow night because I'm really excited to see that movie. We don't really go to the movies too often. Like we might go more than the average person, but there's certain movies we just really wanna see when they first come out, especially cause we don't wanna get like Spoiled. Not that I'm worried about major spoilers on Detective Pikachu, but you never know. I'm also going to pop some of this blue in the front portion of my lower lash area. Are you guys interested in Detective Pikachu? I want to know like who cares to see it. I think it's going to be really good. I think Ryan Reynolds is going to be hilarious, of course. I think that they did a really good job with the character design from what I've seen in the trailers. Like, they actually look like Pokemon. They don't look like weird... I don't know. I think they did a good job overall with that. I'm just going to use that same brush that I used for the first shade. I just wiped it off. And I'm going to go in now with that lighter teal. And I'm just going to dip in very lightly. And I'm just going to, with very light pressure, just use this to kind of buff and blend the edges. Particularly in the outer corner. I'll bring it through this front portion just a tad bit. 
but I mostly want to use this to buff and blend out this outer corner and really blow it out. And you guys already know, I'm gonna use my sponge just to help pat out this outer corner. I'm liking what this is doing, and now I wanna cut the crease because I didn't do a cut crease at all yet with this palette, so I kinda of want to. I know it's not really like a good solid reason, but I just want to. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, pop that on my lid, and look up so I can see where my eye in particular transfers. And I'm just gonna take this little BH Cosmetics brush. I like it for cut creases. It's not my favorite thing for cut creases, but I also really like it. It's a weird in between. And I'm just going to cut the crease, you know? I'm just doing a half cut crease today, so I'm gonna stop it right where those shades in the outer corner are really like building up. Sometimes this brush does not fail me and sometimes I get so sloppy with it. So I'm just gonna go in with this little angled brush now to really help make everything look crispy. We are looking real whimsical. It's very cute. I don't really know what I wanna do with the lid actually. What do I wanna do? I think I'm gonna do the thing where I do like kind of a double lid kind of situation. So I'm gonna start by taking this one here. What is your problem, motorcycle? Why, why? He was not even wearing a helmet. I'm gonna take this one and I'm just taking this dense little brush and I'm actually not gonna use glitter glue because I want to see what happens without it. And I'm sure it's gonna be fine because it's over the sticky concealer base, but you never know. And I want this to kind of start towards the top portion of this outer corner and then work its way diagonally down towards the inner corner. And there'll be a little bit of negative space where I'm going to pop the green shimmer. This blue duochrome is so pretty, I'm obsessed. Now I'm gonna take that green shimmer, I don't feel like picking up my palette. <laughs> I'm just using the other side of that exact same brush because lazy. And I also just had to wash all my brushes and I do not wanna do it again anytime soon because I hate washing my brushes. But I'm just popping this basically everywhere that there isn't shadow. <laughs> so just everywhere in that negative space. I decided to do this order because I thought it would pop more having the green at the top than the blue at the bottom because if I did the green at the bottom, the blue at the top would not even look like a cut crease at that point. And then I'm just gonna go back and forth between the blue duochrome and that green shimmer and just keep tapping over where they meet in the middle until I like the fusion, basically. It's looking like very aquatic grunge. <laughs> I like it. I feel like I need more blue right here. It's just all getting kind of lost. Ooh, I like this. And now I'm just gonna smudge this outer corner. I feel like I want more depth in my lower lash line. So I'm just taking the smudgy side of that brush that I was first using with that darkest teal color, that very first one we put down. And I'm just really gonna make sure my lashes have it right up to them. Even in the blue part, I'm just gonna smudge this right up against it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Which eyeliner do I wanna use? I don't even know. I have so many options. I think I'm gonna go with the Totally Teal from LA Girl because I like this color. I've had a few people ask me how I feel about these LA Girl pencils and I mean, I feel like they're pretty good. I mean, I guess I wouldn't keep reaching for them if they weren't. They seem to stay in my waterline pretty well. They're really creamy and they blend out easy if I need to smudge it down more. I, I'm not really having any problems, so it's pretty solid. So if I was gonna stick to the actual palette bingo rules, I would probably blend the shimmery green just kind of in my inner corner. 
but I really want to use one of those shadows my lovely friend gave me, so that's what I'm going to do instead. I think I'm going to use this one from Vanessa's Vanity. It's called Invisible Gold, and I mean, just look at that. It's so cute. I think that's going to be really pretty in the inner corner. Oh, hi, that's so cute. It reminds me so much of my Halo highlight from Give Me Glow. It's so pretty. Oh, that was such a cute, magical little touch. I'm totally just gonna be keeping this little palette she gave me on my filming desk so I can just dip into it from time to time because it's real, real cute. I think that added a beautiful little touch. I guess now I'm just going to do the other eye, throw on my lashes, something on my lips, and we'll finish this up. So this is it, this is the final look. What do you think? I'm digging it, I feel just very tropical. It's cute. I paired it with the Sugar Pill Trinket Liquid Lipstick. I don't know, I just thought it would be cute. I like the gold that kind of shows through in this and I thought that would complement my inner corner. And I also threw that shade a little bit in the top portion of my lipstick because I thought that would be just a, a cute little extra element. <laughs> My lashes are the Bold Face Makeup Lashes Out Lashes again, as usual. They're one of my favorite pairs of life. <laughs> I like this overall look, though. I had a feeling this palette bingo would go really well just because, like, it's a very cohesive palette. Like, you really can't go wrong. I like what I did with these shadows. Would you have done it differently? I would love to hear your thoughts on what you would have done instead because I just, I don't know, I like chatting with you about that. What do you think about this palette? Do you love it? Do you have it? I wanna talk about it. <laughs> if you enjoyed this palette bingo, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other palettes you want me to do palette bingos with. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beat Bean, follow me there. I post every single day and don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post at least five days a week, usually six or usually seven. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, Bye.